I've drawn a sketch here of my workspace and I've drawn the dimensions on or I've written them on but what I've not done is drawn it to scale and that's what I'm going to do now. So what I'm doing is I'm using a scale of one centimeter to one meter. So that means that for every meter in real life on my diagram it's represented by one centimeter. So let's have a look at the actual dimensions. The dimensions of the workspace are uh, four meters thirty long and then three meters sixty across. So I'm going to do those. I'm going to make a start on this. So the actual size, four meters thirty. If I put that in meters, that's four point three meters. And so on the drawing, one meter is one centimeter. So 4.3 metres is going to be 4.3 centimetres. Similarly, the width of the uh, workspace, 3 metres 60, that's 3.6 metres in real life, 3.6 centimetres on the diagram. So let's start off by drawing that workspace. So it's going to be 3.6 wide. Okay, 3.6 and 4.3 long. Should be 4.3 and uh, just about. Okay, let's do one more thing. I've got my uh, desk here, and that's 1.5 meters by 80 centimeters. So 1.5 meters. That's 1.5 centimeters, and 80 centimeters is 0.8 meters. So that's 80 centimeters. Uh, sorry, it's 0.8 centimetres on my diagram. Now, where I'm going to draw it, it's it's somewhere at this end of my workspace, uh, and I can see it's one metre in from the edge, so it's going to be one centimetre in from the edge. So I'm measuring that centimetre. There we go, so it's going to be there. And then I want it 0.8 metres coming out of the wall, so that's 0.8 centimeters and then 1.5 centimeters going across and there's my desk Right, still some more to do. I'm not going to let you work on that yourself.